Today, we've come to Northampton to a company called Alcon Precision Engineering, where there's a real hub of motorsport manufacturers. But the story here is a really interesting one because it's about how this business has learned the true value of Matsura. There's a great story here at Alcon Precision Engineering. Now, this is Alex, who is the business development manager. You've bought a Matsura every three years. How has that helped you in your position, Alex? Made a huge difference for us in a, in a multitude of ways. I'll take you back to the start. So this was our very first machine, which was a MAM 7235V. Uh, we bought this in 2018, so a little while ago. Um, and we'd gone from a, a business that was using primarily single pallet machines, maybe three, maybe four pallets, but making that jump from that to a 32 to pallet, potentially 300 tall machine, it's a big jump. And what has that le learning curve looked like? Oh, it's massive. So if you don't set these up correctly and you don't use your tooling suites correctly, you don't really reap the rewards. I think you're then very, you're very sensitive to the right mix of work. What we've done over a period of time is uh, we've picked various different work holding systems and racked out each row of the pallets with that. We've then expanded the tooling and made tooling suites so that nearly all product uses the same suite of tools. It's just standardization, standardization that allows complete flexibility. So what components are you making here and style of components at Alcon Precision Engineering? A good example of this is um, a pedal box assembly we manufacture the components for. It's got 10 to 15 components and the, the customer is in, in no use if they've got just one pedal. They need one of everything. But like all customers, they want to order in batch size of 20, 50. What this level of flexibility allows us to do is manufacture one of everything to get the customer building a car and then go back and complete the batch. And all of that with no additional setup time. And so you basically have each level and it's a different work holding. Yeah, absolutely. So you might want Lang for finish operations. You might want uh, D22, which we use for roughing stages or, or at first stops. Um, and those different levels allow us to rack up various different jobs throughout the day, throughout the night, and also load it up for weekend. And off camera, you said to me, you do the work that no one else wants to, or tricky work, is that right? Yeah, so Alcon Precision's always had a history in doing the stuff that other people don't want to do. Um, and what Matsura has allowed us to do is take the jump from the ones, the twos, and the fives, up to the hundreds, 150s, up to maybe 500 a year of a component. So, so it's allowed us to scale, really. And this machine essentially has allowed you to be flexible but to scale. Yeah, and hugely product productive. Our productivity numbers last year were up in 80 odd percent. Oh, wow. So really, really good. And what? why did you go for the next machine then? So um, there's not many limitations of this, but you, you do sometimes want a bigger component and that led us on nicely to the next machine. So Lindsay, this is our MX520 and this was our second Matsura. We bought this in uh, 2021, so three years after the original MAM. Uh, it's a different layout to the MAM but it has its advantages. And the main reason we went for this was for the bigger pallet. It's about 50% bigger in, in component size. But this is your favorite machine as well, isn't it? Yeah, so um, it's, it's really accessible. It's a smaller footprint, but it still gives you a good level of automation. It's four pallets um, and a nice, easy to access work area. And what that's done for us is, is, is taking on a really complex one-off and knowing that we've got the four pallets to then scale it when we secure the bigger volume. Okay, and then so why did you buy another machine three years on. So we brought this machine and uh, the product group that we started doing for our customers went really well. More because you could scale. Because we could scale, exactly. And that led on to more and more vehicles, more and more types of this same component. Um, and we realized that one spindle wasn't gonna cut it. So that led us really nicely onto the third machine. And this was one we bought last year in 2024. We realized with the first MAM that it taught us how to automate. We then needed a bigger pallet, so we went to the MX520. Brilliant machine, but then we realized we wanted that level of automation with that size of pallet. So we went for the MAM 7263V. We also got two extra pallets in the meantime. And have you had to lean on Matsura? I can tell by your smiles how happy you are about getting this model. Did they assist you with the purchasing or did you know which direction you wanted yeah, to go absolutely. in? Yeah, absolutely. I think we, we bought the 520 um, and the, the MX range for, for a reason at the time, but we knew that as we started to sell more of this style of product, we would need the modu modular design of the MAM. And that this has got that. We can currently expand up to 300 tools. So this is basically an amalgamation of the of two. Of the two, exactly. So what does it all come? I was going to say, we also got a slightly bigger pallet than the 520. <laughs> so we've also gained some extra workpiece capacity. What does the future hold? 
more of this, more of this simply. We, we're learning with each machine. I think, you know, there might be a chance for another MX in the future. We might go back for another MAM. More of this. We know that these work for us. It works for our customers with the flexibility and the scalability. And yeah. Your role is business development manager. Obviously, these machines are certainly, have they helped you? Absolutely. Everything in motorsport is, is high intensity, high pressure, ever changing. And this level of flexibility, this number of pallets, this number of tools means nine times out of 10, you can get a solution for the customer. And on a personal level, Alex, you can tell how passionate you are about engineering. You've worked on the tools, haven't you? you you've seen different sides. Yeah, so I spent the last nine or 10 years in my previous role on the tools, and I never got the chance to play with this level of kit and technology. So it's really nice both for us here um, on a personal level, from an employee level, getting to use the latest and greatest, but also to be able to offer its services to our customers. Do you think there's any limitations then on this machine for the future? Currently, probably only tooling. I think we've got 120 tools on it as we've purchased it. Uh, working with Dom, we didn't worry about this. Because the MAM's modular, we can put further tooling racks in. And that's really nice because it keeps the investment, although it's a big investment, we can limit the initial spend and know that as we build up the portfolio of customers and work, we can expand it.